Hi there, my name is Jason Snyder, and I'm a meteorite hunter, just like Ruben Garcia. I'm out in the middle of Nevada trying to find some meteorites. So why don't you take and uh, come along with me, and we'll go see if we can't find some meteorites. I don't have the experience that Ruben has, or otherwise known as Mr. Meteorite, but I like getting out and having fun, and today's one of those days. It's not too hot, it's a bit windy, but we're going to see if we can't find a meteorite. I haven't been doing it as long as Ruben, but we're going to give it a shot. So why don't you come along, and we'll see if we can find some meteorites. Okay, so uh, I've been hunting now uh, about two hours or so. I uh, haven't found anything yet. Uh, I came to a different part of the lake. Uh, originally we started over there more towards the north. Um, I kind of went through uh, uh, oh, some of the side and uh, working along the shoreline and then I came back down through uh, somewhat of the uh, the last third if you will. Uh, as you can see it's a, it's a pretty huge dry lake uh, out here in Nevada, uh, somewhere in Nevada and uh, like I said I'm going to uh, keep looking and see if I can't try to find a meteorite. Uh, if we don't find one today at least uh, I got out here and it's uh, been pretty nice. I had to put on my schmog because the sun was starting to get a little bit warm and I got the sunscreen on as well. So uh, hopefully we can still find a meteorite today. Uh, if not, there's a lot of lake here and I can always come back. I've been finding uh, a lot of these little guys here um, that are slightly magnetic. Um, I don't think they're meteorites. They don't uh, have the characteristics of a, uh, of a meteorite, but they are uh, somewhat magnetic, very, very slightly though. Uh, probably some magnetite mixed in there uh, out here in the dry lake. And uh, finding a couple of these, you know, it kind of kind of sticks to the magnet, but not, uh, not a whole lot. Uh, an actual meteorite, uh, you know, it's got nickel and iron in it, and uh, they usually just jump right out. Um, to the uh, to the, the the magnet there, so uh, not a meteorite, but uh, still kind of get your uh, heart going and the blood pumping a little bit when you uh, find something like this. So hopefully we can still find some. All right, well I've hunted for a couple hours now, uh, more, and uh, I came uh, pretty much from the. I started at the north, worked my way south, uh, kind of south west if you will and uh, covered maybe uh, maybe a quarter if you will of uh, the dry lake working along the edge I uh, didn't find any meteorites today uh, and then I actually uh, drove across the center of it just kind of looking sporadically uh, with the truck because I don't have a quad or a uh, or a motorcycle uh, so I was doing a lot of walking and then I uh, used the truck a little bit to uh, get back to the road to where uh, I can work my way back out through the desert so uh, it was a fun day. Uh, it's about uh, almost three o'clock now, and it's uh, it's qu still quite warm. So I still got the schmog on. I had to put more sunscreen on. Had a good time. Uh, again, didn't find any meteorites, but it was fun. Uh, I still have a lot of the uh, a lot of the lake to cover to come back to, and uh, once the weather cools down here in the next month or two, I can come back up here and uh, you know look for more meteorites. 
uh, and, and try to work my way across the lake. So I did find some flint. I uh, found a couple pieces of that, uh, possible one or two pieces of jasper as well. So uh, looking around at the rocks, it was kind of neat, and uh, I had a good time. So hope you got to uh, see what Nevada dry lake looks like as opposed to an Arizona one. Uh, not much difference. Uh, we're still in the southwest desert, so I uh, hope you had a good time, and uh, catch you next time.